Recently, Maxwell, Epstein's lover and accomplice, was charged with 60 years for sex trafficking minors. David Boyes, who represents 12 of the victims suing, said, This is a verdict that is a victory for those survivors. They deserve the credit. The vindication is theirs. The survivors had to endure not only the initial sex abuse, but the abuse in the media Epstein and Maxwell subjected them to. This was a long time coming, he said. Yes, and his point is not lost on me. These pedophiles choose to shame the victims for coming forward, something predators around the world do to scare their prey into silence. That's the strongest, loudest narrative in the press, and that needs to change. Why are they given a voice? Let's get more into these sexual assault trials in the news. There have been quite a few in the recent couple of years. The victims live their own rape and assault experiences over when this dominates the news. I did. And I don't know if you've noticed, there's rarely a trigger warning given. The news trots this out to get viewership, so the more salacious, the better. The victims be damned. They have to get those ratings, right? So I've been, especially in 2021, during the writing of my book, watching the news about a storm one minute and then the next minute, bawling my head off from memories being triggered by the congressional hearing of the Olympic medalists. For an example, there was so much television coverage of this trial, the sexual abuse trial of sports doctor Larry Nassar or Nassar. Larry Nassar abused from the 1990s to 2018 hundreds of young people as a sports doctor at Michigan State University and then for the U.S. Women's Olympic gymnasts. His victims were 330 in number. <laughs> Astonishing. His plaintiffs were 150 something. Only half chose to sue. And to me, 